Okay, so we're going to show uh, you how to light a alpha wood-fired pizza oven. Um, so we're using one of these Woodson fire lighters. These are available to buy in our shop and uh, off our website. You get six of these inside the box and a box of matches. These are really impressive for lighting your wood-fired oven. So if you want to... So you place that in the middle of the uh, mouth of the pizza oven and then just place some kindling around it. You kind of arrange it a little bit like so. Just build it up around the outside. And then what are these what are these actually made of? You've got a resin in the bottom or something, some wax. It's 100% eco-friendly as well. So uh, it's all made out of um it's wood natural and it's got the cardboard in it. It's just literally so one match. Ah. Drop, drop down in the, the top. And then that will I think there's some like wax soaked or resin soaked uh, yeah. shavings but in the bottom. You can see straight away you've got a good flame. And this kindling is from Hayes as well, isn't it? What, yes, this, uh, is, this your is sourced locally uh, for us. Um, and then the wood we're going to use is a uh, kiln dried hardwood log once we get it, <coughs> once we've got it started. Um, we're using kiln dried because it uses less smoke. We're using hardwood uh, because it burns hotter and longer. Uh, this particular hardwood is older, so it gives off a really good flavour with making it with pizzas as well. Right. So as you can see, you just pop the, the, the lit matched into the centre of the little uh, fire lighter, fire starter, build your little Jenga blocks of uh, kindling around that and just leave that. We're going to leave that for a good couple of minutes until the embers of those kindling uh, sticks are actually properly glowing. Yeah. Then we'll just knock it down a little bit, put some, put some of these logs Push on. Push it over to one side. Let those catch. But it's really important to light it in the mouth of the oven because if you have it too far back, even in the centre of the oven, you won't get good airflow through. So we'll leave that to get going. Come, Come back. back and have a look in a few minutes. Come back in a few minutes. So two, three minutes, kindling's all but, you know, all but caught. And um, if you grab the, whatever it's that's called. It's probably got a technical name, we'll call it the hook. We'll call it the and hook. And what we're going to do now, I'm gonna move the, off to one side, flatten it down a little bit. So it's off. And then we're gonna start taking some of these kiln dried, kiln dried, kiln dried logs even, and just place those on, make sure that they've got a decent amount of airflow around them so that the flames can do their thing. Let's just turn that one over. There we go. And then we just leave that for about another 15, 20 minutes. Um, it's going to get up to about 250, 275 degrees C. And when you, when you start seeing flames rolling across the top of the inside of the pizza oven and you get kind of black smoke, you're, uh, you're getting close, aren't you? Yep. So. We'll just let that do its thing. 